above all things, desperately wicked, who could know it? The heart of man is deceitful. This is why man needs regeneration. Can the leopard change his spots? Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Can the leopard change his spots? Can the Ethiopian change his skin? Neither can you, JWs, do what is good because you are constantly doing evil. Religion cannot change you. Only Christ can change our wicked heart. See, just like the Pharisees, outwardly appear beautiful like whitewashed tombs, but inwardly full of dead men's bones. They don't hear the word of God. They are of God, they hear God's word, but they do not hear because they are not of God. Explain to us the parable of the tares in the field. And Jesus Christ said, He that sowed the good seed is the Son of Man, and is Christ Himself. The field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, they are the children of God. But the tares are the children of the wicked one, they are the children of the devil. And the enemy that sowed them is the devil, their father. And the harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels, as therefore the tares are gathered and burned in a fire, so shall it be at the end of the world. That the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all those who offend, all those who live lives in offense toward the living God, all those who are living an enemy against God, all those enemies of God. All those who offend, all those who live contrary to God's will, all those who live in constant rebellion against God and against His words. Gather, He will send forth His angels and they will gather out of His kingdom from under His reign. All those who offend and those who practice lawlessness and all those who work iniquity, all those who practice sin, all those who indulge in sin and will cast them into the furnace of fire where there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth where there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already those who are not in Christ they are already condemned already condemned, already on the broad path that leads to destruction. All those who don't believe in Christ, all those who are even living in neutrality, they say they're neither with Jesus nor against Him. But if you're neutral, if you're neutral, you're on the broad path that leads to destruction. You're either with Christ or you're against Christ. There is no neutrality with God. You're either a friend of God or you're an enemy of God. You're either a child of God, a child adopted, adopted by the Holy Spirit to the new birth, to regeneration, or you're a child of the devil. Which is it? You're either on your way to hell or you're on your way to heaven. Which is it? You either love Christ, you love his word, or you hate Christ and you hate his word. He saw one man there who was not wearing the wedding garments. He said to him, friend, how did you come in without the wedding garment? He was speechless, he had no excuse. The wedding garment has already been provided, already been offered to us in the person of Christ. Christ is our wedding garment. Christ is our righteousness. Christ is the way, the truth, the life, no one can come to God the Father, but only through Christ. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Friend, how did you come in? into the how did you come in without the wedding garment he was speechless the king said to the servant find him okay. 
bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him out into the outer darkness where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Weeping and gnashing of teeth awaits those who are not clothed in the righteousness of Christ. For you have set our iniquities for you and have secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all of our days have passed away in your wrath. And we finish our years as a tale that is told. The days of our lives are 70 years. And they by reason of strength, they be 80 years. God oh, bless you. Yet is God bless you. Yet is of strength only labor and sorrow. For they are soon cut off. And then we fly away. And then we fly away to meet God. Either as your executioner or as your savior. Because out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts, foolishness, fornication. Before a young couple goes and has sex, it's already in the heart. Repent, young man. Flee to Christ. For no fornicator, no idolater, no adulterer will inherit the kingdom of God. You see, within the heart, we need regeneration. As Christ said to Nicodemus, unless you are born again, then we go again, people worshiping the four-legged creatures. People have set their affections on these vile four-legged creatures. Friend, you see, that's what they worship. They treat them like family, like family members. That's their, that's their son or daughter. You see, people have set their affections on these four-legged creatures. People don't want any children no more. In fact, people call their babies in the womb parasites. Without Pharaoh, it would seem that the perception of child babies, fetuses, and what have you being an inconvenience to a woman yet perseveres because they're pests, apparently. Those things are parasites. Those are flea bags. where the value of pets has skyrocketed and the value of children has dropped below any level of common sense. I remember an interviewer years ago walking around a college campus asking college students this question. You're in front of a pool and your dog is drowning and there is a baby drowning. Who do you say? And I kid you not, many, many people said, oh, I would choose my dog. Yeah, my dog. I know my dog. I love my dog. My dog's basically a part of the family. The God commands all men everywhere to repent. Repent, my friend, and believe the gospel. But Paul writes to the believers, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation, took upon himself the form of a servant, he was made in likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and he became obedient unto death even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus the Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God, so that every one of us shall give an account of ourselves to God. Every one of us will give an account of ourselves to God. Repent. Believe the gospel. Mm -hmm.